Did your modeling something looks interesting and your final render looks terrible? I think you understand what I'm talking about. Material and render settings are the most important parts which beginners underrated. And that's probably why your final render looks not that good. This tutorial series is designed to show you how you can create different materials in Blender. If you are brand new in Blender, you have to check out this video after watching this one. So let's go into it. Before we start, you can download this blend file for free if you want guys, link in the description below. Go to material properties, click on new, double mouse left click to rename this material. I'm gonna write gold. Click on surface and turn off use nodes for this material. For this video, these four options are more than enough to create our materials. Mouse left click on base color, click here. Now we need a color code. Go to Google and search for gold code number. Select this code, Ctrl C to copy this code. Back to Blender again, click here, Ctrl V to paste. We are in the solid mode guys, we need to switch into the material preview. You can switch from here or hold the Z key and go to material preview. Go ahead and increase the metallic into one. Also, we need to play with the specular and roughness to get the better result that we are looking for. From setting, we need to turn on screen space reflection because we are gonna use the EV render engine. Click on this camera icon. As you see guys, we are already in EV render engine. You can also change the render sample and the viewboard sample. I'm gonna change both of them into 128. Also, we need to activate the ambient inclusion. It's a big difference with ambient inclusion on or off. Also, we can play with these options to get a better result. All right, we're gonna turn on bloom and play with the intensity to get this bloom effect. So, make sure to activate screen space reflection from here, click on this little arrow and turn on reflection. Also, we can improve the shadow effect in the EV render engine. Go to shadows, click here and choose 2048. Important is to check high depth and soft shadows. So, it's time to change the HDRI image. HDRI what? The HDRI file give a realistic lighting effect on the 3D scene and objects. It's also add more natural light to a scene. All right, go to world setting, click here and choose environment texture. Now we need to download an HDRI image. For that, I like to use the HDRI image haven website, link in the description below. All right, you can use any HDRI image that you want. From here, we can change the resolution. As you see guys, this license is CCO, which is free. When you are done, click on download. Also, you can support the creators if you want guys. Back to Blender again, click on open and choose the HDRI image file that we downloaded. Of course, we can see the HDRI image because we need to switch into the render mode. There we go. As you see guys, our object catching the light from the HDRI image right now. We can also hide this HDRI image, click here, go to film and check transparent. As you see guys, our object still catching the light from the HDRI image that we hide it. Shift D to duplicate this one and one more time Shift D. Select the new object, go to the material properties again and click on this minus button to delete the material just from here. Click on new, double click to rename this material. I'm gonna write silver, turn off use nodes, go to Google again and search for silver code number. Ctrl C to copy, back to Blender. Ctrl V and here we go. Increase the metallic into one and play with the specular and roughness to get a better result. Make sure to activate screen space reflection. For the bronze material, I'm gonna use the same steps. So guys, that was all about today's video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.